I think we just made a couple mistakes that they capitalized on, and that's what the game of hockey is all about, right? It's uh, a team that makes less mistakes usually wins, and that's been a point of emphasis for us uh, actually since day one. So uh, we just got to learn from it and uh, move on to tomorrow night. Uh, I thought we played very well at good times in the game and uh, got plenty of opportunities. We just didn't bear down in certain spots where we just got to find a way to get that puck across the goal line and uh, it's a different feeling than on the bench. It's probably a different game if we make that 3-1 or 4-1 or whatever the case is. But uh, credit to them, they, they had some opportunities and, and they capitalized. Now in that first period, obviously things started out hot. You saw two goals from Max Ellis. Um, you know, that top line seemed to be clicking early. Um, what did you like seeing from them, at least at the beginning of this game, you know, just uh, the, the ability of, of Josiah as well as Max and, and uh, Stephen Aguirre Janis to go out and make some things happen there early. Yeah, no, I, I thought, I mean, they got rewarded, right? They, they scored a couple goals, but I thought from top to bottom, we, we had a really good start. I liked our pace. Yeah, we played with a lot of energy. We were simple with the puck. We moved through the neutral zone. Uh, didn't, didn't throw any turnovers or, or throw pucks around. We just kept moving north, kept the game simple, got pucks to the net, got bodies to the net, and, uh, and got rewarded. We just couldn't sustain that for 60 minutes. And we talked about it during the week, and we've talked about it with Coach Chubb in the past, but obviously, you know, there's some injury issues going on right now, and it, it kind of limits the ability of you guys to roll four lines and, you know, that, uh, that third period, we saw a lot of the top six out there. And then it did seem like when, when the Ashbrook line got out there, they did create a little bit of uh, pressure. They created a couple of chances in the offensive zone. Like you said, though, unable to bury them until uh, the end there when that was the McCabe and Lapina line. But in any case, um, is that encouraging, seeing some of that, seeing another line kind of step in? And, and I know Tristan was bouncing around lines tonight, but is it at least encouraging moving forward to see that kind of push late in games um, where you guys are kind of looking for another line to step up and, and, and create some opportunities. Well, for sure. We, we made all four lines, all six or seven data to step up and, and play. And certain guys aren't going to have it on the, every night. And it's just human nature, right? But uh, the, the good teams are deep. The good teams find ways to, to, to score goals and win hockey games, you know, whether their top line is going or not. And, uh, yeah, we've had some injuries, but it uh, can't be an excuse here. We just gotta, we gotta learn from our own mistakes and, and just continue to grow, continue to get better, continue to gain some experience in this league and, and understand uh, how difficult it is to win games. And uh, we, we have to put a 60-minute performance uh, from top to bottom. And, uh, hopefully, we can do that tomorrow. Last question here for you. It is a quick turnaround tomorrow night. You're back at home against Waterloo. They're a good team. Um, you know, we played them in their building, and uh, you know they had a good game that night. Um, and then you turn around, and you have Des Moines again for the second straight Saturday. Just what's the adjustment here overnight? What are you telling the guys here uh, before they go back out there on the estimate? Okay, we need that same start that we have tonight. And we got to keep the game simple. Waterloo is a very good, structured, well-coached team, and uh, you know they're going to be uh, ready to play uh, tomorrow night. They didn't play tonight, but. Uh, sometimes that's an advantage of the team that did play early in the game and they were in a little bit of a groove and uh, they're traveling. So uh, it is what it is, but we, we have to get off to the right start. We have to clean up a couple of the details that cost us tonight, uh, get more bodies to the net front, take the boys eyes away, make it a little bit harder on the goaltenders uh, than we did tonight, and then just limit the uh, mistakes at our own end and, and understand uh, we have to defend better in our own zone. Coach, we appreciate the time. I know this is your first occasion of uh, Coach's comments this year, and that's due to special circumstance, but we appreciate you giving us the time. Yeah, hopefully it's my last, but uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Mike.